Richard Rick Vino is a retired Canadian professional wrestler, best known for his appearances with the World Wrestling Federation between 1980 and 1995 under the ring name Rick Martel. He is also known for his 595-day reign as our World Heavyweight Champion, the championship's third longest career. Early years Martel is from a family of wrestlers, and made his professional debut at age 16 when his brother Mitchell, a wrestler, asked him to replace an injured wrestler. Martel was already a skilled amateur wrestler, and quickly adapted to professional wrestling. Martel wrestled throughout the world winning titles in Canada, New Zealand and Puerto Rico. His first real success in America came in the National Wrestling Alliance S Portland affiliate, Pacific Northwest Wrestling, where he became a top talent, holding the Canadian and PNW Tag Team titles simultaneously. He left PNW on August 16, 1980, when he lost a loser leaves town match to Buddy Rose. Martel also served a stint as a booker for a wrestling territory in Hawaii where he would help the promotion set up matches and construct the storylines that would play out inside and outside of the ring. World Wrestling Federation Martel debuted in the World Wrestling Federation in July 1980. That fall, he formed a tag team with Tony Guerrier. On November 8, they defeated the Wild Samoans to capture the WWF Tag Team Championship. They successfully defended the title until dropping the belts to the Moondogs on March 17, 1981. They regained the title from the Moondogs on July 21. Their second reign came to an end on October 13, when they lost to Mr. Fuji and Mr. Sato. American Wrestling Association Martel signed with the R in 1982 and quickly ascended through the ranks defeating Jumbo Suruta to win the Hour World Heavyweight Championship on May 13, 1984. His reign as champion lasted nearly 19 months, during which time he wrestled several matches with NWA World Champion Ric Flair, as well as with Jimmy Garvin, Nick Bockwinkle and King Tonga. His finishing move alternated between the slingshot splash and the combination atomic drop, back suplex. On December 29, 1985, Martel lost the title to Stan Hansen, who forced him to submit to the Brazos Valley Backbreaker. Return to WWF The Can-Am Connection in 1986, Martel returned to the WWF with his tag team partner Tom Zenk. They were billed as the Can-Am Connection. The Can-Am Connection had been formed by Martel in the Montreal-based Lutte Internationale in 1986. Zenk was the boyfriend of Martel's sister-in-law and had been introduced to Martel in the hour by Kurt Hennig. The Can-Am Connection quickly garnered the affection of fans, and they looked likely to win the WWF Tag Team title in the near future. At WrestleMania III, the Can-Am Connection defeated Bob Orton, Jr., and Don Muriso in the opening match when Zenk pinned Muriso. Martel claimed Zenk was overwhelmed by it all. Wrestling is very hard on your body. Hard on you also mentally. It's hard physically. Tom wasn't mentally or physically hard as I thought he would be, strike force after Zenk's departure. Martel formed a new tag team with Tito Santana, called Strike Force. The duo quickly captured the WWF World Tag Team title from the Hart Foundation, holding it for five months before losing to Demolition at WrestleMania IV. Shortly afterward, Martel took time off due to injuries sustained in a title rematch at a primetime wrestling taping in Oakland, California on June 1, 1988. Smash hit Martel with a steel chair, then both members of Demolition performed their decapitation finisher on him at ringside, leaving him unconscious on the floor. On the June 18th Superstars, it was announced he suffered back injuries and a concussion. In storyline, he briefly retired due to these injuries. In reality, he took six months off to help care for his severely ill wife. Martel returned in January 1989 as a singles wrestler, before reforming Strike Force with Santana at WrestleMania V to face the Brain Busters. 
During the match, Santana accidentally hit Martel with his signature flying forearm smash and knocked him out of the ring. A frustrated Martel refused to tag in and walked away, leaving Santana to be beaten down and pinned. Later, in an interview with Gene Okerlund, Martel said, I'm sick and tired. Sick and tired of him. I was doing great as a singles wrestler, but Mr. Tito wants to ride my coattails some more. Following his heel turn, Martel acquired Slick as his manager. He feuded with Santana on and off over the next two years, losing to him in the finals of the 1989 King of the Ring tournament then defeating him at the main event IV taping on October 30, 1990. As 1989 came to a close, Martel's relationship with Slick quietly ended. The model in late 1989, Martel adopted a narcissistic gimmick as the model just before the 1989 Survivor Series. He wore a turquoise sweater tied around his neck to the ring with a large lapel pin that read, Yes. I am a model, Martel made his pay-per-view singles match debut at WrestleMania Vi, where he defeated Coco B, where via submission with his signature Boston Crab, Martel's most high-profile feud during his stint as the model was with Jake the Snake Roberts, sparked when he blinded Roberts with arrogance on The Brother Love Show in October 1990. Martel and Roberts captained opposing teams at the Survivor Series. The Visionaries defeated the Vipers in a clean sweep, 4-0. Martel continued to have the upper hand in the 1991 Royal Rumble match, eliminating Roberts from the match en route to lasting 53 minutes. Before being eliminated by the British Bulldog, Roberts would ultimately get to his revenge at WrestleMania 7, defeating Martel in a blindfold match. In early 1992, Martel began a feud with Tatanka, leading to WrestleMania 8, where Tatanka pinned him. That summer, Martel had a brief feud with Shawn Michaels, as both men sought the affections of sensational Sherry. The feud ended with a chain of events that resulted in a double countout at SummerSlam 1992. The match carried a no-punching-in-the-face stipulation, mutually agreed upon and eventually disregarded by the two narcissistic heels. Martel then resumed his rivalry with Tatanka by stealing his sacred eagle feathers to add to his wardrobe. The feud was resolved at the 1992 Survivor Series, where Tatanka again defeated Martel and reclaimed the feathers. By 1993, Martel mainly appeared on the lower undercard, and rarely on television. However, at the September 27 Monday Night Raw taping, he was the co-winner of the Battle Royal to decide the competitors in a match for the vacant Intercontinental Championship. He lost that match to Ramon. By the summer of 1994, Martel dropped out of the WWF picture and would not be seen again until participating in the 1995 Royal Rumble. Martel's final appearance came the following month at a house show in Montreal. As his wrestling career began to slow as Martel pursued a career in real estate, in a later shoot interview with RF Video, Martel claimed that he and Don Callis were set to return to the WWF as the supermodels in 1997, and Callis was to eventually turn on Martel, making him a babyface for the first time since 1989. However, after a pay dispute with Vince McMahon, Martel signed with WCW. World Championship Wrestling Martel debuted for World Championship Wrestling in 1997, feuding with Booker T for the WCW World Television title and winning it on the February 16, 1998 Nitro. Martel's comeback was cut short during his rematch with Booker T at Super Brawl late on February 22, when he landed badly on a throw, hitting his leg on one of the ring ropes. 
He tore an inside ligament of his right knee, fractured his leg and suffered cartilage damage, effectively ending his in-ring career. He was originally booked to retain the television title in the match, intended to be a gauntlet match, by beating Booker and then Perry Satin. Martel and Booker worked out a finish in the ring, and then Booker and Satin worked the second half of the match entirely on the fly. Martel was out of action for several months. After suffering another injury in his first match back, Martel retired from the ring. He then worked for WCW as a trainer, and as host of the French versions of WCW programming. Guest appearances after the main event of a house show in Quebec City on May 3, 2003. Then WWE champion Brock Lesnar introduced Martel to the ring as a surprise, and shook his hand. Martel said he was honored to be associated with WWE and thanked the fans. At WWE's Vengeance, Night of Champions pay-per-view in 2007, Martel, along with Tony Guerrier, saved Jimmy Snucker and Sergeant Slaughter from a post-match attack at the hands of Deuce and Domino. Personal life, Vino married his wife Johanna in 1983. They have a daughter named Coralie, born in 2000. In wrestling, finishing moves Boston Crab, Quebec Crab Slingshot Splash, signature moves airplane spin back break hood diving cross body drop kick hip toss multiple suplex variations belly to back double underhook gut trench, scoop slam spinning spine buster, manages slick, nicknames the model, entrance themes let's hear it for the boy by Denise Williams, girls in cars by Robbie Dupree, model by Jim Johnston, razzmatazz, championships and accomplishments, American Wrestling Association, our World Heavyweight Championship, Georgia Championship Wrestling, NWA Georgia Tag Team Championship with Tommy Rich, LUT International, Canadian International Heavyweight Championship, NWA All-Star Wrestling, NWA Canadian Tag Team Championship with Roddy Piper, NWA Mid-Pacific Promotions, NWA North American Heavyweight Championship, NWA New Zealand, NWA British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship, New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame Class of 2011, Pacific Northwest Wrestling, NWA Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship, NWA Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship with Roddy Piper, Pro Wrestling Illustrated, PWI ranked him number 48 of the 500 best singles wrestlers during the PWI years in 2003. PWI ranked him number 70 of the 100 best tag teams during the PWI years with Tito Santana in 2003. Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Class of 2015 Stampede Wrestling Stampede International Tag Team Championship with Lenny Hurst Universal Superstars of America, USA Heavyweight Championship, World Championship Wrestling, WCW World Television Championship, World Championship Wrestling, NWA Austro-Asian Tag Team Championship with Larry O'Dea, World Wrestling Council, WWC North American Tag Team Championship with Pierre Martel, World Wrestling Federation, WWF Tag Team Championship with Tony Guerrier and Tito Santana.